Radio 1. Weekends on Radio 1. With my girl, Gemma Kearney, yeah. It's Catherine and Lily, everyone! Yay! Yay. <laughs> A.K.A. Emily and Naomi from Skins. They're coming back. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, in the big Effie episode. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's just rewind a little bit and talk about who you were in Skins. I know you're still going to be playing the same part, because that would be really weird. But <laughs> why... I'm playing Naomi. <laughs> why would everyone remember you? They would remember Emily for being like the twin that found her sexuality after a lot of confusion. Mm-hmm. And, and they would remember Naomi for being big and loud and a lesbian. <laughs> I loved you from the first time I saw you. I think I was 12. It took me three years to pluck up the courage to speak to you. And I was so scared of the way I felt, you know, loving a girl. So how long ago was Tough. this? Sexy. We finished like three years ago. Yeah, now. like seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah. I guess a lot of changed in your lives as well because mm. Skins would have been early on in your careers, and it was like it was our like first, the first job. Yeah, me and Meg did like one awful daytime TV episode, and that, but apart from that, of that, don't say it. Yeah, go on, <laughs> please do, please do. No, because what if? No, go on. <laughs> was it doctors? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's on Doctors. <laughs> it was you, a good episode. You did it together. No, they did. No, oh, no, me you and Meg, and me twin, and Meg yeah. did it. Yeah, and yeah. then, um, but then, literally, apart from that, um, where we randomly played basically the same characters that we did <laughs> in Skins, <laughs> and then we got the audition for Skins, and um, yeah, they just stole the characters for Skins. I think, to be honest, like we got both parts because we were really like those characters anyway. Okay. Because like the first Skins audition that we did was just improvisation. We lied and told them we were identical. We were like, we're not identical, so we're not going to get it anyway. So it's just like, whatever. And then after that, we started, like, wetting ourselves because we were like, it might actually happen. And then, yeah. So basically, you just played yourself in skin. Yeah, perfect ba- job. Well, yeah, sort of. <laughs> With your sister. Definitely Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Meg's a lot nicer than Kate. Uh. So how have your lives changed? What's been going on since? I used to be the kind of teenager that said, oh, I hate when people say they hate teenagers because everyone was a teenager now. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, I hate teenagers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I don't really, like, my brother's a teenager and I love him to bits. <laughs> but I think getting a job when you're young sort of makes you grow up a lot faster than yeah. a lot of the people that you're around. Yeah. So uh, because we've been in the working world, whereas a lot of our friends have gone on to uni and have still been in sort of an education yeah. Yeah. environment, we... It's not. Can sometimes feel more adult and organized. boring than the rest. It's, of yeah, them. it's just organization. Like I, like bad organization annoys me even and more. And professionalism. Now. <laughs> you know, you have to dress a certain way and yeah. talk a certain way because otherwise people don't take you seriously. Yeah. Um, so you're trying to tell sensible. me that you're really organized. You dress really sensibly. You speak really sensibly. <laughs> no, just more so you're, than you're 16 on, years. You're on time all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. More so than we would be if we hadn't yeah. been working. <laughs> yeah, we'd probably be horrendous if we hadn't done that. Yeah. It just forces you, doesn't it? Because if you're 16, you were, I was well, 17, you were 18. Yeah. And you were like, we were going to Bristol on our own, like living on our own, and had to like go there and come back and live there for a week each time. Yeah. And like some of my friends who went to uni and stuff, like can't be on time, like within the hour <laughs> if their life depends on it. Like, I love them, but yeah. And so it just skin forces taught, you to do taught you discipline, whereas a lot of people would think yeah. to be a young actor and to go into skins, it might teach you bad things. That's the thing, and people the think thing, they see party, party scenes yeah. and they think we're just having a party, but in reality, that scene has taken all day long, and we've done the same thing for twelve hours, dancing to no music is not yes. fun. Smoking by the horrible, way, horrible like fake <laughs> cigarettes. It's not really like a party when you're on the set. I mean, yeah. it's it's hard work, and you have to be up on time, and you have to live on no sleep. This. Is BBC Radio One. Uh, Kat and Lily, everyone. Catherine Prescott and Lily, Lily Lovelace. And if you're loving it, if you uh, loads of people are, are lo- absolutely loving it, you'll be very happy to know that there's a bit more of where that came from uh, after I pay you a little bit, a little mix. Hi to Laura listening in Australia. Uh, hello to the gorgeous Hero Knee uh, on Twitter listening in fi- the Philippines. How exciting. Hippie Girl 93 also listening in Australia. The hashtag is officially if you're enjoying the interview. Uh, hashtag Lily and Cat now on Radio One, which is just an R One. We put it from our Twitter, so you can find it at BBC R One. Hashtag Lily and Cat now on R One. 
Radio 1. Good morning, everybody, or maybe good evening, because I know a lot of people are listening all over the place for our lovely guests, Kat and Lily, a.k.a. Catherine Prescott and Lily Lovelace, Emily and Naomi from Skins. They're part of a very special and exciting comeback. Do you want more? Let me hear you say more. You could hear it. It was loud. Uh, so I asked them what Skins means to them. It was like the first of its kind in a lot of ways, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely for our age group anyway. I mean, I, there was that show As If that was on ages ago, but yeah. that was sort of... We and were too young to watch bit. that when when, yeah. when it was out. But for us, I remember when Skins coming out, and I'd never seen anything like it before, that dealt with teenage issues. Yeah, it was written by young people for Straight young people. And it was about real yeah. stories as well. I mean, the stories that we had were stories of the writer's friends. So they really, really yeah. happened. And also, so many people that I speak to, and myself included, like, I think that everyone knows, like, someone that reminds them of one of the characters. Yeah. Or, like, they've been through some of the issues that they've, mm. that they've yeah. been through in the show. But it also, I mean, it was serious, but it also had such a great streak of comedy in it. Yeah. Like, especially with the parents and teachers and stuff. There were loads of them were played by comedians. Yeah, it was so. just, I don't know, the balance, I think, I just think it had a really good balance. It told, like, stories about young people as if they were adults. It didn't, like, dumb it yeah. down. And it wasn't, yeah. like, older people writing young people speak. Yeah. yeah. Like, and it wasn't trying to tell you, this is what you should be doing or this is what you shouldn't be doing. It was just this is storytelling. What this is life. Yeah. yeah. She's always stressed these days. Yeah, we get a job in the city. So it's coming back, mm -hmm. which is quite exciting. And this is part of a special load of shows. Yeah. Which are? It's basically like you there's three <laughs> films which are split into two episodes each. Yeah. And so each film sort of is based around a different character. So there's Effie, Cook and Cassie. <laughs> and Catherine and I are in the first one, which is called Skins Fire, which sort of um, centres around Effie. Um, and are you guys going to still be together in this one? Yeah, we are. Yeah, they're, they're like a fully fledged so they've couple. They've been together for yeah. like years. Yeah. yeah. Totes they're grown up. They're a really up. nice, yeah. yeah. They have like a really nice relationship now, I think. And mm -hmm. like Emily's off in New York. Her story is that she's been doing, uh, you don't see her in New York, but she's been doing this photography internship. <laughs> And um, yeah, and they're, but they're still together and they have this like long distance relationship, but they seem really still in love, don't they? Yeah. Amazing. It's nice that they didn't do the whole, oh yeah, we're going to break them up to create some drama sort of thing. They're like, yeah. you know, because some couples do actually stay together. Yeah. Not always in skins, but in this case, they have. <laughs> yeah. This, this is BBC Radio 1.